Welcome to Criminality. Let's take some time to analyze the behavior of sociopaths and psychopaths. Our preoccupation with crime and murder investigations has grown significantly in today's culture. The popularity of TV programs like Criminal Minds, which aims to understand the behavior of sociopaths as well as psychopaths, is evidence of this. The show's plot and use of forensic psychology have helped it grow in popularity. The characters of the program have received accolades for their accurate depiction of actual criminal psychology and how it might be applied to apprehend the most dangerous criminals. Criminal psychology has long been interested in sociopaths and psychopaths. The popularity of television programs like Criminal Minds has increased curiosity about how these people behave among the general public. There are some parallels between sociopaths and psychopaths, but there are also significant distinctions in their conduct and underlying psychological composition. We can learn more about how to spot violent crimes and perhaps even avoid them by studying these people's behavior. Any social personality disorder, or APD, is the diagnostic term used to describe both sociopathy and psychopathy. However, some specialists contend that there are important distinctions between the two mental diseases. Even though you watch the TV program, have you ever considered the meanings of the main viewpoints of the show? Remember good viewers are not always just viewers, they should be intelligent views. A pattern of any social behaviors and attitudes, such as violence, dishonesty, manipulation, and lack of empathy for others, is referred to as sociopathy. Although there is some overlap, the terms sociopathy and psychopathy are distinct and not interchangeable. Sociopaths may or may not infringe the law, but they undermine the trust that underpins the entire human endeavor by taking advantage of and manipulating others. Because they are frequently used interchangeably yet are not synonymous with one another, the terms sociopath and psychopath might be confusing, but there is a distinction. Sociopaths are people whose callous, dishonest behavior is mostly influenced by their surroundings, such as seeing child maltreatment or being exposed to others' expedient behavior. Psychopathy is a fixed and innate trait. Violence is more likely to be committed by psychopaths. It might be challenging to determine which phrases best describe both illnesses because they both fall on a range of symptoms. Although there isn't a set list of sociopath symptoms, a symptoms and indicators include a recurring pattern of distaste for others. For instance, going over social boundaries, disobeying societal conventions and regulations, breaking rules at school or at work, stealing, stalking, and disturbing people, and damaging property. Dishonesty and deceit especially the use of fake identification and the manipulation of people for one's own benefit. Difficulties planning ahead and restraining one's impulses or acting without taking consequences into account. Violent or agitated conduct, such as getting into physical fights or altercations with other people frequently, disregard for one's own or other people's safety. Trouble managing commitments, such as attending work, performing assignments, or paying bills and rent. Little or no shame or sadness, or a propensity to excuse behavior that harms others. Realizing that people have a variety of personality qualities is crucial. Even if someone behaves aggressively or selfishly, they are not necessarily a sociopath. It may be vital to keep an eye out for recurring behavior patterns because many persons with a star are unaware that these qualities are problematic. Psychopath. Few terminal hodges in psychology cause as much uncertainty as psychopath. Although the term psychopath is frequently used to describe someone who suffers from a mental illness, it is not a recognized diagnosis. Instead, it's a common word frequently used to describe the disease known as any social personality disorder ASP. Psychopathy is a personality condition that is characterized by a combination of any social, anti-emotional, and interpersonally problematic characteristics. People with psychopathy, often known as psychopaths, frequently lack empathy or regret and show impulsivity, cunning, and dishonesty among other undesirable characteristics and behaviors. 
Additionally, some people with psychopathy turn to criminal activity. Depending on the specifics of the disorder, there are many symptoms that a person may be experiencing some sort of psychopathology. Shifts in dietary patterns, mood swings, excessive dread, anxiety, or worry, distressed feelings, inability to focus, easily irritated or angry, fatigued or lacking in energy. These are some of the common characteristics of psychopaths. I know, even though we refer to sociopath and psychopath separately, you are still unable to get a very clear understanding on what is the difference between them. So let's take some time to go through the most significant difference between them. Psychopaths and sociopaths often behave in ways that contrast like night and day. Psychopaths are less aggressive and careless than sociopaths. Psychotherapist Scott Bond has observed that sociopaths frequently live on the outer margins of society. They frequently struggle to maintain employment and have trouble settling down in one location. Despite their considerable travels, they are not holiday makers. They might engage in shady activities like lying, cheating, and stealing from individuals along the way if they are unable to locate a real job to pay for anything they need. According to psychology researchers, sociopaths are primarily influenced by their environment. This can include family issues, pressure from peers, childhood trauma, or a desire to fit in with society. And psychopaths, on the other hand, have a genetic predisposition and are thus simply born with that trait. Psychopaths are highly good at hiding their true identities as a result. They develop elaborate strategies that are well thought out in order to accomplish their objectives and have no empathy at all for hurting others in the process. On the surface, they appear to be perfectly normal, blend into society, and operate even better than other people. They may have appeared to have wonderful relationships with their loves, families, and friends, but in truth, they are masterminds who manipulate events to reach their goals. While sociopaths tend to be more impulsive and irregular in their behavior and struggle to form close relationships with others, they are extremely hunters and lack any real sensations for their lover, family, or friends. Despite having a difficult experience doing so, they are still able to develop strong emotional bonds without harming the other people in the connection in any manner. Psychopaths lack understanding, have extremely shallow emotional responses, and are highly impulsive. They painstakingly organize their illegal behavior with very slim possibilities of being detected. They have no sense of shame and act criminally while viewing themselves as God and other individuals as his puppets. In opposition to sociopaths, who can behave criminally in a fit of rage having a violent outburst without any prior planning and just when triggered. They do not quickly become worried or apprehensive in the face of danger. Psychopaths like to fool people into thinking they care by manipulating others' feelings for their own gain, while sociopaths can show through their facial expressions to other individuals that they aren't fond of them at all, demonstrate anger, and occasionally physically harm them without imagining the effects. However, later on, they may feel ashamed and regretful for acting in such a way. Sociopaths struggle more than psychopaths do to keep up connections at home as well as at work. I hope you know the main differences and characteristics of sociopaths and psychopaths. Thanks for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section.